Welcome back guys. Today I thought I'd take a look at uh, the new Linux Lite 3.4 which was just released today. Um, I installed it to a uh, petition on my hard drive. Um, I'm dual booting, I'm multiple booting. Um, I The way I installed it I didn't want Linux Lite to control the boot process so I installed it to a petition on my hard drive and then I selected the location for my bootloader grub to be installed to the petition not to the master boot record. Linux Lite terrific distribution for anybody coming from Windows XP, Windows 7. If you're coming from a Windows uh, operating system you'll have no issues. It'll, it's very comfortable. The menu system using XFCE very comfortable menu system very familiar no issues at all. So when you boot into Linux Lite, it gives you the option to follow the recommended steps. It makes it very easy for you. So we're going to go through that one by one just to make sure it handles everything properly. First thing, install updates. Now you'll just enter your password that you created during install. It's going to update and I'm going to update now. Now you see where it's it's going to install Linux headers which should facilitate the driver install. So let's let's do the update. It shouldn't take too long. Now while that's updating, let's take a look at the menu. If you, if we go into settings, you'll see that there are Linux Lite proprietary items. You got the Linux Lite welcome screen, Lite updates notify. Now that is a new uh, feature. You can set the frequency of update notification to whatever it is you'd like. And you'll need to enter your password to make any changes. But you can see that the Lite update notify, you can select the frequency of your update notifications including disabling them. So you just select what you want, click set and you are good to go. That is a new feature. Now let's go back to light upgrade. Now light upgrade will upgrade from anywhere within a series. So this is the 3.4 so any time in the future when there's a new version, as long as it's in the 3 series, you'll be able to just click light upgrade and it'll bring you to the latest version. Very convenient, v makes it very easy for somebody coming from Windows. A lot of people don't want to be bothered with a lot of complexity. Sim simple is much, much better, especially if we're going to draw people in from Windows. So that is in the settings menu. If we go to system you can see there is a feature called light software. Now light software basically makes it easy to install additional software to your Linux light system. Now you can see it'll give you the option to install software or remove software if I click on install software it's going to bring up a list of software that I can install very easily and you can see that uh, it's very comprehensive it's got additional browsers Dropbox, FileZilla, uh, iDevices Manager, uh, Kodi is there, Music Player, Steam, Spotify, Skype so as you can see there's lots of software that can be installed pretty much uh, uh, with one click and you can click install and you're good to go. So that will, you will uh, make those decisions uh, based on what makes sense in your particular situation. But Linux Lite makes it very easy for you to configure the system exactly the way you want it. Now as you can see it's still updating my kernel. I'm going to go back to the system settings and 
you can create a system report. Now light tweaks are basically utilities that help you maintain and clean your system. So if I click on that, as you can see, you can auto remove packages that are no longer installed, fix boot up, clear memory, and you can see there are lots of uh, utilities that you can uh, utilize to keep your system clean and just to take care of the system do the normal maintenance that you should do on a on a uh, daily weekly or monthly basis so I'm gonna close that out and uh, this kernel is still updating now I'm going to go to the Linux Lite website and go over some of the new features let's go to distro watch first of all and you can see Linux Lite 3.4 final is now available continues to focus on security by, by providing our latest application light updates notify I went through that with you it informs the user of all available updates. You can set update reminders. Light Welcome has a fresh new look, uh, reminding you after fresh install of Linux Lite to install updates, drivers, and set a restore point. Now, that's what we're doing now. We're letting the updates finish. Uh, hibernate and Suspend, you can select whether or not to show these options on the, lo on the logout screen. So Linux updates have completed successfully and it gives you the option to view the log. I'm not going to view the log. Now it's telling me I want to reboot so I am going to reboot and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys I did reboot no issues at all. So let's go to step number two and we're going to install drivers. Now I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I have a Realtek Wi-Fi driver. It should pick up both. And it is telling me that I, I have the NVIDIA, I have the Realtek, and I have an Intel microcode firmware update to do. So I am going to, use, to do all three. Now there should not be any issues uh, being able to update all three at the same time. So I'm going to click apply changes and it should start pulling in the necessary drivers uh, and that's what it's doing right now. So let's put that aside and let that run. Now you can also set a restore point because us Linux Lite has system back installed which which kind of works like time machine on a Mac um, it creates restore points so if you have an issue and your system isn't operating properly let's say you install a piece of software that's have that's creating a problem with your system you can go back you can set the system back to a prior restore point prior to installing that software and then it's as if you never installed it problem would be alleviated. It's a very, very nice uh, feature. And this setting a restore point, Linux Lite makes the use of system back very easy. Now, as I said, when 3.6 comes out, all you need to do is use your light upgrade and it will upgrade your system to the new 3.6 you won't have to do a complete install and that'll work for all upgrades within that 3 series so 3.4 if it goes 3.6 3.8 you'll be able to upgrade to the newest version of Linux Lite without any issues and as I said before Lite software gives you a sample of what you'll be able to install by clicking on light software makes software installation very easy now hardware hardware recommendations it's got the minimum and the preferred of course the minimum you could still run into some issues 
Uh, it's calling for a 700 megahertz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, about half a gig, uh, VGA 1024 by 768, DVD drive or USB port to plug in your ISO image so you can install. Now the preferred specs are one and a half gigahertz processor, uh, a full gig of RAM, uh, 1366 by 768 resolution, and your DVD or USB port. Now there is a hardware database that you can click on to check to see if your components are supported within Linux. Uh, now it's very it's pretty easy to install your drivers even my drivers which are proprietary my Nvidia and my Realtek should not be should not have any major issues normally they do not especially the newer versions of Ubuntu now this is running off uh, Ubuntu 1604 so there shouldn't be any issues with my drivers once this finishes all I should have to do is reboot and both drivers should be recognized and functioning properly and we're gonna test that out so I'm gonna pause the video while this finishes and then I'll be right back with you okay welcome back guys let's take a look to see if those drivers were installed properly so if we do a search for NVIDIA and I have 375.39 so that installed flawlessly and the only thing else I have to check is my now as you can see my uh, Wi-Fi is not enabled but I think it's just a matter of me unplugging and plugging the dongle back in which should get it to recognize the Wi-Fi adapter and let's see if that works now that should just plug in that dongle in it's a USB dongle so just plugging that in should have brought up my Wi-Fi list and as you can see it did so let's see if we can connect to that Wi-Fi network and it looks like it is connecting and it has connected and so that works flawlessly as you can see all of my networks are available excellent so it appears that everything is working properly now this is Linux Lite 3.4 it just came out um, this is a terrific distribution whether you're just starting out with Linux or you're, you've been in, involved with Linux, you've used Linux in the past, it's in just an overall terrific distribution. It's a quality uh, distribution. They put a lot of time and effort into the distribution. Lots of features, lots of, lots of customization options. Overall, terrific. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.